teaching, build that fruit in your kids when they're younger, at yeah. that tender age. What you tell them at year five, they will never forget it. If you take them to a pub at an age 10, they will always live by the pub. Sure. If you take them to church, they will always never get away from that. Amazing. Thank you. So, praise God. This is Support Msani Channel. I am your host, Joyce Ogutu, and we are privileged to have George Gero, a music producer, a video director, and a gospel artist. So, Karibu Sana, George. Thank you so much. Tell us about yourself. Well, I'm George Gero, as you've said. Mm -hmm. I'm a gospel artist, a music producer, and a video director. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. So when did you start music production and video directing? Okay, before, before I became a music producer, I was an artist. That was way back in 2005 onwards, after I'd completed my secondary uh, school. Then uh, I did uh, recording for some times. Then I started with the music production. From there I got, I got, I gained interest to, to do videos because I wanted to do something new or fresh or, and to grow. Yeah. And that is how I became a music producer and a video director. Yes. So how many artists have you directed? Yes, they are countless. They are countless. Uh, it's about over 100 plus. Um, that is, a, um, if you watch YouTube, you, there's some videos George Gero, directed by George Gero. And uh, to name a few, like I've worked with some people that are known, like Rosemary George. I've worked Amazing. with Pastor Ezekiel, the, the famous pastor from Mombasa. Currently, I'm doing his music here. Great. And oh. uh, very, very many people. I've worked with Canindos and all that. Wow. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, you have recorded uh, and uh, produced songs for gospel artists. So, you know the challenges that they face. So, this is now to you as a video director and a music producer. What challenges do you go through producing gospel songs? Well, gospel is wide, it's, mm -hmm. but the key thing is spirituality. Yes. Gospel is not done by the body, it's by the spirit. Yes. So you find sometimes the artists who come to studio just to record for the sake of it. And somebody told them it's easier to break even on gospel than in secular. So they're coming to break even, not oh. to preach the word. Yeah. So dealing with such kind of artists, it's very difficult, but we are professionals. Yes. We know how to handle everyone. So that is one thing. And also dealing with some of these artists, they are not financially well off. Mm -hmm. and, and at the same time, you know, you run a studio, you need to pay bills and some of them come for help. Yeah. So you find it's very difficult to balance between paying your bills and helping because we are Christian first. Before yeah, yeah. anything else, we are Christian first. We have to have the heart to help. So it's quite challenging to say many financial challenges, kidogo, mm -hmm. spirituality, kidogo. And of course, in every field, there are temptations and all that. There are setbacks and people fall and rise again. Yeah. So it's why if I start bringing up challenges, there are more and we'll face them every day. And I, I believe I'll still face some. Yes. So you have been in this for how long? I did my form for in 2004. I'm as old as you can see me. And then from there, because of challenges at school fees and all that, man must find something to do. Yes. And I realized some, sometimes back in 2005, a friend of mine, uh, that is including my brother, took us to a studio in Kisumu called Chukwa Records and to go and do him a backup. From there we developed an interest and then we started going to the studio to do music. For about some time, 2005 and 2006, I was doing gospel art, uh, music. Then one day, as I was going to collect my music, you know challenges at studio, the producers started taking us left and center. Yeah. Then I said, can't I do this thing? I developed interest from 2006 up to to date. Amazing. I'm a music producer. And um, I didn't start by video directing. I also developed interest like a year after starting music production. Then I became a video director. Yeah, then so the rest I learned of it. And yeah. then the challenges of recording your music, yeah. you gain interest mm, in music production and then of course in video directing. That's that, 
That's right. It. Yes, that is. So, what has been your high moment? Uh, the high moment of my career has been working with artists that can break even. Uh, everybody wants to see their work out there. Mm -hmm. Like I did Nina Kuinoa, yes, with yeah, Rosemary George. Wow. Uh, and uh, I did uh, Pastor Ezekiel, I think he's known countrywide. He's, yeah. he's probably one of the top spiritual leaders around. And to having worked with such people, at least you're seeing the fruits of your labor. And at least somebody somewhere is recognizing what you're doing. For you to work with such people, mm -hmm. uh, those are spiritually abled. Those who will tell you that the spirit of the Lord guided me to you. Yeah. Uh, it's it not by an accident it happened. So at, after hearing certain words, you come back to your cocoon, as uh, Veli used to say that word, yeah. and you realize, you ask yourself, why me? Yeah. Why did these people choose me? From there you see that there is something happening in your life and uh, it encourages a lot. Now, mm. we are human and of course you've had your high moments mm. and of course there are low moments. So mm. what has been your lowest moments in your journey in the video directing and music production? Uh, we face low moments like every day. Yeah. Like expectations. Sometimes you don't meet the expectations of your client. There are our clients first yeah. before they became ministers. Mm -hmm. There are our clients and some of them come with a fixed mind. This is what I want and you realize you cannot deliver that. We are never perfect and instead of them telling you that producer George I wanted certain things done this way mm -hmm. they go out there and say that guy knows nothing he's doing mm -hmm. I will never get back to that place. So such kind of utterances will break your heart but we are dealing with more than one person mm -hmm. out of 100 is only two people are disappointed then we take the positive from the the negative exactly. yeah. yeah so the challenges th those are part of challenges yeah, they, they not, never get satisfied mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes uh, these people are so cunning mm -hmm. that those who just come to studio to test you not because they believe in your ability but because they want to provoke you so this is a field that keep on coming with challenges every day but as christian first we know how to handle them then you get back to human nature where we yeah. get angry and all that but we move on that is yeah. life that is so thoughtful of you thank you so you are you have produced gospel music yes. so why gospel well i was born and raised in a christian family and I can remember my memory will serve me right. I, 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 at age five, I was already in church. My mom was a staunch voice, the voice of salvation and healing wow. church. So uh, my mom built a foundation in me that made me believe that it's safer being in gospel yeah. than anywhere else. It's safer being under the shade of Christ, Christ yeah. than being anywhere else. So it's the foundation that my mom built in me Amen. at a tender age. So anyone watching, build that foot in your kids when they're younger, at yeah. that tender age. What you tell them at year five, they will never forget it. If you take them to a pub at an age 10, they will always live by the pub. Sure. If you take them to church, they will always never get away from that. Amazing. Thank you. Mm. So, um, the young people who are yearning to go into music production, mm. into recording, their music. Mm. What message do you have for them? Well, everything is possible under the sun. Mm. So anyone trying to do it, it's better to better try and fail than failing to try, yeah. like I did. So if you're planning to get into this field, there are challenges. Don't worry about them. You'll meet them anywhere. Even if you're sleeping, there are challenges. As in that's a big challenge. So nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Yeah, even in, in your sleep, so zile umepumzika, unakuta mbra na kufukuza, unakutuka hivi. Then, come into it with the expectations that you'll make it. Yeah. Come into it positively. Yeah. But also be prepared. Sometimes things will not work the way you expect them exactly. to do. Where we jifunze tu jiamini to find somebody. Find, we call them mentor. Somebody who's gone through them, somebody who knows A, B, C, D about it. And they will advise you on what to get, what not, what to do, and how to go through it. I really love your take on this. 
Yes, like we just you. give it a try. Give it a Even try. in your sleep you go through issues but yeah. you still sleep. And wake up. So uh, yeah. anyone who want to go into recording their music, just come out as George is saying, mm. go and give it a try. You never know. Mm. Because the the bottom line is spreading the gospel. Yeah, the so gospel. if you have the talent, if you have the the urge, go out and get it right. That's true. Amazing. Yeah. So your journey in music production, let me start with your journey in music production. Mm. Who is the artist that has really inspired you into doing more and more in music production? Because you've had so many, you've produced mm. songs for so many artists. So who among, I know there are many, but who among these artists has really inspired you? Well, there are so many. Yes. But I will pick a, I'll pick a few that I can remember. First of all, I'll work, I love working with people who are down to earth, they are humble. Mm -hmm. People are ready to listen to your the one cent idea, the, the one you have. Then they bring the ideas on the table, then you share. Such people are really easy working with and they inspire me and they know what you need. But what you feel you want. But I'll advise you, this is what is what can work for you. So over a few people I've worked with, those have inspired me so much. I don't know say many. These people are so many. Yes. Wow. So all things you do is for the glory, for the glory of, God. of God, yes. Amen. So, uh, your fans will be watching, those of people who are going to like, want to produce or record music. How would they get you? How would they find you? How would they get to you? Yes, first of all, our studio is called Excellent Media. We are on uh, Facebook at Excellent Media. We are on YouTube as Excellent Media. We are on Twitter, the same handle at Excellent Media Kenya and uh, Mimi Naitwa George Gero you can find me on Facebook on the same name but I prefer you go with the Excellent Media because it's a, it's like a company it's easier to access me there than to get me on George Gero so those are our handles we have a phone number there that will be provided if so needed and uh, yes I'm Ukuja Nambu to further estate close to Nyayo, get B, Utatupara Tuapo. Amazing, thanks a lot. So we've been having one of the greatest video recording uh, and uh, music producer. So uh, you want to get to George Gero, Excellent Media, in face on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, at Excellent Media. Yes. So all of you out there who are willing and uh, wishing to come record with excellent media you get your best yes thank you for that that, that's positive so why excellent media uh excellent media is a combination of like of two or three words mm -hmm. from the exile and entertainment mm -hmm. then it's camouflaged under the umbrella of excellence so on uh, those platform our excellent is written X Z Y L E N T. If you're looking for, if you write excellence, you'll never find us. So it's the, a bit of artistry in it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that is it. So because the works done around your studio is excellent, we we achieve to attain excellence in everything you're doing. Amen. Yes. So you want excellence here with excellent media. Thanks a lot for viewing and George, thanks a lot for finding time to join me in uh, this show. So I was your host, Jason Gutu, and this is Support Amsani Channel. Thank you.